Welcome, day one of the challenge. This is the most important thing, okay? Every single thing you want to achieve, whether it's toning up, or weight loss, or fat loss, or anything to do with any changes in your body, all come down to getting this thing right, okay? It is very simple when it's laying out like this. The hard thing is sticking to it, which again, if when you scroll down, there'll be tips on how to stick to it. This is just the idea, and so you understand exactly what it is you need to do, okay? So, first number, this is your metabolism, your basal metabolic rate doesn't matter if you know or don't know what it is, it is the amount of calories that you would require to stay at your current body weight if you do no exercise at all. Okay, so if you literally say you weigh 13 stone, if you were to lay in bed all day and you wanted to stay at 13 stone, that's the amount of calories you, you would have to eat, okay? Average for a female is 1400, okay? So if you were 13 stone, and you stayed in bed all day, didn't do anything at all, and you ate 1400 calories, you would stay at 13 stone. If you were to do eat more than that, you'd put on weight. If you were to eat less than that, you would lose weight. Very simple, okay? But remember, this does not include any exercise, whether it's a workout, or just moving at all. It doesn't even include the amount of calories it burns for you to walk to your car, to put your kids up, anything like that, okay? Just the amount that you burn, your natural burning every single day, okay? The two things you can add on top of that is your daily activity. So this is things like just moving around, walking, if you walk the dog, if you play with your kids, stuff like that. This is that kind of stuff. Stuff that burns calories, but isn't a workout, okay? As a rule, 100 calories, is how much you burn off every mile you walk. Okay, so say you do two miles throughout the whole day, not one two mile walk, 100 meters here, 50 meters there, doing stuff throughout your day, you burn off an extra 200 calories. Very simple, and then the last bit is your workouts. So it's stuff where you're actually going there to tone up, to burn calories, you're trying to burn as many calories as you can, okay? The more, the better your workouts are, the more you do, the heavier you do, the faster you do, the more calories you'll burn, okay? So let's say if you're just starting out, let's be fairly conservative. Let's say you burn off, what should we say, 400 calories, okay? Just because it's new, just because you're getting into it, and for the purpose of this challenge, I'll just assume that you're still trying to get into it and you're not 100% sure what you're doing, okay? so. Add all these up, 1,400 from your natural, 200 from your activity, 400 from your workouts, and then you are burning 2,000 calories each day. Okay, very simple. So now, if you do all this, and, you, and then you will come up to 2,000 calories. If you then eat this, you'll stay the same. If you eat more than this, you'll gain weight. If you eat less than this, you will lose weight, okay? And that's essentially what you want to do. It's very difficult to consistently eat less than that if you don't do anything. It's a lot easier to eat less than this if you are doing stuff. So, as a rule, if you wanted to lose a pound a week, you've probably heard this somewhere before maybe, it's around 500 calories per day less that you would either have to eat or 500 calorie a day per more if you wanted to uh, burn it off. Okay, so you burn off 2,000 calories altogether. If you were to then eat 1,500 calories, you would be minus 500. Okay, if you did that every single day, you'd lose a pound a week. Very simple. Uh, but it's a lot easier to be minus 500 over here because you could maintain this fairly well. If you wanted to be minus 500 over here, you'd have to only eat 900 calories. Okay, so it's all about the more long-term stuff. And, and the better you get, and the fitter you get, and the more you progress, the easier this becomes. But this is essentially it. This is only one day, this minus 500. If you did it for seven days, 
you'd be minus three and a half thousand, which is a pound, okay? If you wanted to lose more weight, you just need to be in a bigger deficit. So either eat less or burn off more. The bigger the deficit, the faster you lose the weight, but the less sustainable it is. Because in order to get into a big deficit, you either need to uh, do a crazy amount of exercise or don't eat a lot, okay? But as you get fitter and stronger, you can make all these numbers better, which makes it 10 times easier. So, you can become more active pretty much straight away. I say this is only if you do two miles a day, throughout the whole day. 10,000 steps on your Fitbit is around four miles. So say you do four miles, instead of burning off 200 calories, you'd be doing 400 calories. That is awesome. Workouts, let's say, all you need to do, the stronger you get, the fitter you get, the more you do, the more calories you burn. In the same amount of time, that's the crucial thing. If you go from doing 10 kilo squats to 20 kilo squats, it would take you the same amount of time, but you burn a lot more calories. Okay, so let's say your workouts go from burning off 400 calories a session to 600, oh, put this down here, 600 calories per session. And then this is the best part, is you can improve this as well. So your natural calorie burning number is directly related to your weight, your muscle mass, and your height. If you're six foot tall, you'll burn more calories than if you're five foot tall. But the muscle mass is the most important one, okay? So, because your workouts are getting better and you're toning up and you're getting stronger, you might or you will increase the amount of muscle that's in your body. As your muscle mass goes up, you naturally burn off more calories. So for instance, out of my whole body, I weigh about 80 kilos and out of that, 60 kilos is muscle. As I get fitter and stronger, it may develop to 62 kilos, which is muscle, which will then increase this. So because your muscle mass has gone up, you burn off more calories naturally, okay? And then again, just add them all up. So now, because your workouts are better, you're more active, and your muscle mass has gone up, now in total you're burning off 2,500 calories, okay? An extra 500 calories a day just because you're fitter and stronger and a little bit more active, okay? So now, you can either eat the same 1,500 and be in a huge deficit, or you could eat 2,000 calories and you'd maintain the same minus 500 number, okay? And this is where it gets really sustainable because now you can eat 2,500 calories and stay the same, okay? But if you were to eat 2,500 calories up here, you'd be plus 1,100, okay? That is essentially how it works. You just want to burn off more than you eat consistently in a way that you can stick to, and the fitter and stronger you get, the easier it is to achieve that. Scroll down, go through the next few videos, uh, and they will give you all the tips, tricks, and little things that you can do to make an instant change that's easy to stick to that will get you to this number.